how to draw a state chart diagram. So, state chart diagram is used to describe the states of different objects in its life cycle. An emphasis is placed on the state change changes upon some internal or external events. So, events may take place, it may be from the within the system boundary internal events or some external events may take place and depending upon that the state of an object may have a transition from one state to another state. These states of objects are important to analyze and implement them accurately and this particular dynamic view of the system will help the developer to develop the code accordingly. State chart diagrams are very important for describing the system states and states can be identified as a condition of objects when a particular event occurs. So, depending upon the event occurred, the state of an object will be decided. So, before drawing a state chart diagram, we should clarify the following points. So, these are the list of points we should have the clarification at first before going for the state chart drawing, diagram drawing. So, identify the important objects to be analyzed. So, what are the objects for which the state chart diagrams are to be formed? Identify the respective states of that object and identify the events for which the state transition will take place. So, consider this respective example. So, there is a starting state and there is a stop state or the finishing state. So, shipment received, searching purchase order. If the purchase order has been found, then send shipment to inspector and it will be going to the finishing state or stop state. Verify bill with the purchase order. An improper shipment is observed. In that case, it will be coming to this flow, otherwise it will go to this proper shipment. So, send shipment to inspector and finishing state. So, otherwise generating shipment error notice. So, notice will be prepared and then sending notice to the supplier and notice will be sent and that is a terminating state here. So, that is the state chart diagram for this shipment process. Okay. Now, State chart diagram shows the life cycle of a single object. Always remember this one, a state chart diagram will depict the life cycle of a single object. Life cycle means from the creation to the termination and during this particular phase, the object may have different kind of states and different events will have the state transition from one to another. So, state chart diagram shows the life cycle of a single object from its crea created until it is getting destroyed. So, these diagrams are good way to model the dynamic view and dynamic behavior of a class. So, now let me discuss some terminologies explicitly. So, state, a state is one of the possible conditions in which an object may exist. Activity, an activity is something or some behavior that an object carries out while it is in a particular state. So, when one object will be in a particular state, so what is the operation it can carry out? So, what is the activity it can carry out? So, that will be described here. And for example, when an account is in the closed state, the account holder's signature card is pulled. So, an activity is an interruptible behavior. So, an activity is an interruptible behavior that means the respective activity can be interrupted by the respective event generated. So, this is this is the symbol which we denote the state, this is the symbol where we are denoting the state transition. So, whenever this transition is originating from one state and terminating to the same state then it can also be called as reflexive transition. So, this is the start state and this denotes the stop state. So, now next we are going to discuss this entry action. An entry action is a behavior that occurs while the object is transitioning from into the states. So, unlike an activity, an entry action is considered to be uninterruptible. That means, entry action means when the process, when the state chart diagram is getting started. So, there is an entry action and it is uninterruptible. So, exit action and exit action occurs as part of the transition out of a state. So, when, when it is coming out from the respective state. So, entry action means when it is going to a certain state 
and when it is coming out from a certain state is known as the exit action. So transition, a transition is a movement from one state to another. The set of transitions on a diagram shows how the object moves from one state to another and the reflexive transition is, is having arrow starting and ending on the same state. So in the previous diagram we discussed that one said that whenever one arrow head is starting and ending at the same state so it can be considered as one reflexive the transition so that is known as a reflexive transition so now let us go for the event what is one event so an event is something that occurs that causes a transition from one state to another state we know that that state transition the main cause behind the state transition is the occurrence of an event so action an action is an uninterruptible behavior that occurs as a part of a transition. So in this way, we have discussed different terminologies which are related with the state chart diagram. Thanks for watching this.